In today's video, we will be talking about a very high impact vulnerability that affected Windows environments. Welcome to CVE 2025-55-234, which is a high impact SMP NTLM relay issue affecting Windows environments. I will explain what is vulnerable, the technical root cause, a lab safe proof of concept overview, and exactly how you patch and harden systems. Let's get started. Microsoft's September updates address a class of SMP authentication relay exposures that let an attacker reuse NTLM credentials to access SMP resources when signing and extended protection for authentication are not enforced, which means if you run file or printer shares, you need to patch and harden today. What do we know up until now it is that this vulnerability affects Windows systems acting as SMP servers. That includes Windows servers and client machines sharing folders or printers. The vulnerability is an elevation of privilege. Unauthorized access vector via authentication relay. In plain terms, an attacker who can coerce or capture a Windows user's NTLM authentication using Responder can forward that to an SMB server that doesn't require signing or EPA, then and then act as that user on the server. What caused this vulnerability? Basically, or fundamentally, it is an authentication design and configuration gap, rather than a brand new cryptographic bug. Basically, SMB, and over the history, as we know, it supports NTLM authentication. If SMB signing or extended protection for authentication are not required, NTLM responses can be relayed across hosts. That aspect make relay allows an attacker to reuse a victim's authentication to establish a session on the target SMB server and perform actions permitted to that user. Now, because the root cause is configuration and protocol behavior, mitigation is twofold. You can apply vendor patches that add auditing and protections, and you can change configuration to require signing or to enable EPA. Let's talk about reproduction steps, how to reproduce the vulnerability in a safe lab environment. Well, the first step here, uh, you want to create a topology, a lab topology. The lab topology would consist of attacker VM and victim client VM, and it would also put target Windows SMB server VM on the same virtual network. The next step you want to do here is to ensure that target server does not require SMB signing or EPA. Having done the last two steps, next you want to coerce the victim to authenticate. Example, you can let the victim access a shared printer or a web dev resource, or basically an SMP path you control to produce an NTLM challenge response. That's the idea here. Now the fourth step here is relate the captured NTLM to the targeted SMB server. If relaying succeeds, the attacker then can interact with SMB resources as the victim. For example, the attacker can enumerate shares, write files, or schedule service tasks depending on privileges. And the last step, when you want to perform detection, Enable Windows SMB signing or EPA auditing. You will see specific audit events when clients cannot sign or when EPA or SPN is missing. All right, now putting on the Defender hat, how to patch and mitigate. Well, to patch, what you want to do here is install Microsoft September updates, specifically September 9, 2025 security updates on all systems that provide SMB services. These updates introduce audit hooks and additional server-side hardening behavior. Patch first across your critical servers, and maybe then you can expand out to other machines. Now, if you cannot update, you can just use hardening. For example, you can require SMB signing on critical and important servers using group policy, or you can use PowerShell for servers. You can use this command and enable the SMB signing on the servers. You can also enable extended protection for authentication or EPA on SMB. This binds authentication to SPN, so relays fail, won't happen. Use the updates auditing to find incompatible clients first. And where possible, I believe if you use SMB3 with encryption, it's going to be better. Now, if you haven't still updated or patched your uh, machines, you can perform a test to detect and respond to this vulnerability. Microsoft added auditing events to help you find gaps. Look for SMB server audit events that indicate unsigned client connections or EPA failures. You can use those logs to identify all devices and applications that will break once you enforce signing or EPA. 
Um, I suggest event IDs to hunt such as um, 3021, 3024, and 3026. These event IDs are important for detection and response for this vulnerability. Um, maybe in your SOC setup, you can create alerts for sudden increases in unsigned SMB sessions or unexpected account activity on file servers, and maybe even new service creation events. These are common post-exploit artifacts.